All right, what's going on everybody? So uh, I have acquired some wrought iron. Um, pretty excited about this because uh, it's really hard to find this stuff up here. And I've never worked with wrought iron, so this will be my first time. Um, but supposedly these are a 1930, 1940 era wrought, came from uh, drill rig bales. So, and I'm pretty confident on the source. So um, I don't know much about wrought iron, but you know, from everything I've been told and from what I've seen, basically got to work it hot, basically out of welding heat. But uh, um, I know there's different grades of wrought iron too for different applications. So, you know, 1930, 1940, I'm pretty sure they had a, a good idea how to make wrought iron. So I don't think I'll need to refine this any, I'm just gonna leave it at is, but the plan is to make a hammer. So we'll be forge welding the faces to this body. So, and these are about two and a half inch wide and two and a half inches tall. Um, it's not cut perfectly straight, but I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, square it up on the press and everything. And then, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. So I managed to get the billet squared up. That's it. So it was, you know, like this. Now it's this. So um, it's three inches long, uh, inch and three quarter in diameter. I would have liked, you know, the, the diameter to be at least two inches, but there's still plenty of material here for a hammer. And then when I was drawing out the, uh, the 1050 for the faces, you know, the first piece I use, I'm not, that's too thin. I want to go with the thicker face so you can, you can see the difference. The top piece is about a quarter inch and the bottom is maybe, you know, a little, little over three eighths. I just want to go with a thicker face. So that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tack weld the, uh, the 1050 to the body. But other than that, that's where we're at. So stay tuned.
right, well, there it is. The little rot hammer that could. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cool. I really like the, uh, the style of these hammers, man, with the dark faces and the wrought iron body. It's just freaking cool looking. But I was going for a heavier hammer, but um, being that, you know, I've never done this before and the size and shape of the uh, starting material, I just, I just didn't know what to expect. So, um, you know, from what I learned from this, I will incorporate in the next one for sure. You know, I, I was going to use this for an axe body, but I think I'll try to make a heavier hammer out of it. So, you know, everything I learned on, on this one, I'll put into this one. I think I'll get a, uh, you know, a heavier hammer out of it. But there are some things I would have done different. I learned a lot from this process. I don't think I needed to take as many welding passes on the front face as I did. I was just so concerned about blending it in. I, I don't think I needed to be, you know, that meticulous about blending the the face in because I didn't I didn't do that for the rear and I and I for the peen because I you know, obviously I got a thicker face there so you know you live and you learn yeah this was a fun project you know it, it really tested my forge welding ability and I'm really happy that uh I got a usable hammer out of it you know and I you know and I recommend uh you know if you if you've never used wrought iron before i recommend getting some and working with it it is some awesome material man when people say it's uh butter soft they're not they're not kidding it really is it's just some really cool stuff i wish i had more of this stuff um i am working on getting some more hopefully but we'll see but yeah anyways you know that's the hammer um i hope you all enjoyed the video and y'all have a good day